What's up guys? Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to do something with the ZR1. It's going to get a little bit of love and we're going to show you a real easy way to remove the wheels on a Corvette that has carbon ceramic rotors. And after that, we're going to talk a little bit about some extra special carbon fiber goodies for the C7 Corvette. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so you're probably asking yourselves by now, well, Justin, how can it get any easier to remove a wheel from a car? Well, in this situation, if you guys have a Z06 or the ZR1, you know it has the carbon ceramic rotors and they're freaking massive, especially on the front. With the 19 inch wheel, there is almost no room in between that rotor disc and the wheel itself. And if you hit that rotor disc, it's not a good thing. If you chip that, that's around $2,000 to replace. And even just a tiny chip out of it could possibly completely malfunction when you hit the brakes and explode for the lack of a better term. And then you are left with no rotor. So you don't want to damage those things. Now, what I'm getting at is something that our friends over at ACS Composite sent us. It's just these two metal rods. Now what these are gonna do is go into the spots where your lug nuts are and allow you to glide the wheel off. So we'll take out all the lug nuts, put one of these here and the other one here, and then you can literally pull the wheel over top of these things and it will glide it off without you having to hold it. So it will just basically clear the disc and then drop off these rods here onto the ground. So that is basically an alternative to the package that GM sends you with these kind of cars. It's just like a piece of styrofoam. While the wheels are on here, you have to jam up in there and pack around the rotor. It's kind of a pain. So this is a way better option. I'm gonna kind of demonstrate these to you here in a second. All right, so we have all the lug nuts minus one off just so the wheel will kind of sit in place. What we're gonna do is take this dial here, which is obviously threaded on the end. We're gonna thread it right onto one of the lug studs. That's pretty much it. So we'll do this with one of the other ones too, just to make sure that the wheel stays nice and straight as we're pulling it out. So the second one, same kind of thing. We'll go on this side and then we'll just tighten it down, take off that last lug nut there and pull the wheel off. Now, like I said, guys, I will link these in the description down below. You are actually gonna be able to buy these on my website because they are really freaking cool. They ultimately come from ACS Composite. So I'm gonna take that last lug nut off, pull off the wheel and show you why you need these for your car, especially if you have carbon ceramic rotors. All lug nuts are off. So as you can see, the wheel is loose in here. I can kind of just take it and pull it and allow these to guide the wheel off onto the ground here. So like this, as you can see, it's providing support instead of smashing into the rotor. Just like that. So what this will ultimately do is just allow you to get to the point where you're not supporting the entire weight of the tire. Those are the wheel being as wide as it is and the tire provide a lot of freaking weight that your back basically has to hold. And these definitely assist big thumbs up to ACS composite. Like I said, guys, if you're interested, link in the description down below, I'm going to do the other thing that will be in a future video. And then we're going to start talking about some carbon fiber on your C7 Corvette. So stay tuned. All right. So other than the lug stud extensions from ACS composite, we have two other little pieces of carbon fiber that will be going on the C7 Corvette. Really any C7 Corvette this will work for, but obviously mine is the ZR1 in this situation. So one of the reasons we were taking off the wheel was to help clean up the uh, remnants of my burnout from a little while ago. <laughs> got that done and those lug stud extensions definitely helped with that. But today we're going to talk about two little pieces of carbon fiber that you can add to this car that will really just give it that extra little bit of flair. It's something that you're going to see pretty much every day and they're really, really easy to install. So let's take a look at them. So here's the first bit. Now it's hard to see because it's kind of in a bag, but this is basically a real piece of carbon fiber. You can tell because on the back, you can still see the weave through it. And all it is is a cover for your start stop button. And you can see there it's got the little slit so the green light shines through there whenever it is in fact on mine i chose to go with the red tinted version because it is carbon fiber and on the dash of the zr1 is also carbon fiber so i didn't want your typical black carbon fiber to blend right in with the black carbon fiber of the dashboard plus i obviously like my red accents on the black zr1 so this is perfect for me now if you guys are interested in the black one i'll link both of them in the description down below these are really freaking cool like i said real carbon fiber and it holds on with a piece of double-sided tape 
So we're going to install this today. Not a gigantic, horrible, hard to do install, but I'm going to show you anyway, because I'm doing it. So might as well video it. And then secondly is another thing that you're going to see on a daily basis when driving your C7. And that is going to be the key. So as you can see, this is a totally 100% real carbon fiber case for the C7 Corvette key. How awesome is that? So recently I reached out to a company that was making these and asked them if they wanted to kind of sponsor this video and they chose to do so. So this is a case made by T Carbon and the box that it comes in and everything, the quality of this, I mean, it just screams performance supercar carbon fiber because the box that it came in was all covered in foam to make sure that this thing didn't get jostled around and shipping or anything. And what makes this key look even cooler? What are the key tags, guys? If you buy this key tag, you get entered to win that C5 Corvette. One key tag, one entry. Two key tags, two entries. So definitely check out my store in the description down below if you want to get entered to win this beautiful C5 Corvette. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about this thing. So it was real easy to put together. Obviously, you can tell it's seamed in the middle there, just snaps together and it looks absolutely glorious. So we'll set it right here against the real carbon fiber of the ZR1. Yeah, very obviously real carbon. So that's what we're going to do today. Obviously, I already installed this case. It just snaps together. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the car now and install the push button start cover and show you how much cooler that's going to look with all the carbon fiber already on the dashboard. All right, guys. So here we are inside the car. We're going to go ahead and do the carbon fiber push button starter here. So as you can see, that's the stock one. That's what it will look like after it's all said and done. And it is going to have that same kind of carbon fiber weave that you can kind of see here on the dash. While we're here, you can also see this guy right here, which is the Jake skull for covering up the screen up and down button. Now, this is especially important if you ever give your car to the dealership or to someone who doesn't know that this screen actually goes up and down. You can store some stuff back there and no one will know that they can push this and put the screen up and down. My friend Dave over at San Diego Design sells these. I'll link these in the description down below as well, because this is a really cool addition to the car i think and of course they can be painted so if you wanted something other than black you could paint it but anyway we're going to go ahead and wipe this area down with rubbing alcohol and then we're going to get to putting the new carbon fiber button on so we're just rubbing it down with rubbing alcohol like i said make sure it's all clean and free of grease and of course my car is beeping at me because i don't have my remote in here but that should just about do it we'll let that dry up and then we're going to go ahead and stick this thing on so here it is out of the packaging you can clearly see that carbon fiber weave in it if I turn it around, we'll take off that protective layer of tape there, but right in the corners there, you can see the carbon fiber weave all the way through. So this is legitimately real carbon fiber, which is the only reason I would even consider doing this. So the button has dried off with the rubbing alcohol. Now with the new one, we got the protective layer off the back and now it's just kind of a line it up and press it down kind of game. So just about there, we'll just press it down and hold it for 10 seconds. My keys are not in the car, so the car should not come to life. All right, so that's it. That looks pretty cool, I'm liking it. Now we got our carbon fiber key back in the car. So let's go ahead and, yeah, you can see the light shining through there. It's orange right now, showing it's in accessory mode, I guess. So we'll press and hold for 10 seconds and it should turn green. And it does shine through that little slot in the in the carbon case there. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. It looks neat. It looks like it was supposed to be there. Not bad. So guys, what do you think? That looks pretty cool. It matches obviously my red rev match paddles here and of course the red seat belts that I've added to the ZR1 to give it a little bit of color in here. I'm liking that. It's not necessarily super visible, but at the same time, it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. It wasn't anything totally crazy, but it was two pieces of very interesting carbon fiber for the very carbon fiber covered ZR1 here. So I wanted to just really real quick recap on what we were talking about here. So this case is from T Carbon. Like I said, everything we've done today will be linked in the description down below. But just so you guys can tell, it is basically a perfect match for actual carbon fiber weave on the ZR1 here, but not just that, it is super high quality carbon fiber and I absolutely freaking love the key case here. It just gives it another, I don't even know, like another dimension of quality. And in my opinion, that's kind of needed because the key for the C7 isn't really the best looking thing in the world, I don't think, but it is definitely a lot better now with this carbon fiber case. Now, like I said, guys, this is all going to be linked in the description down below. They have been a really, really great company to work with and their quality 
man, it is just top notch. Now you wanna make your key look really awesome. You get that carbon fiber case. You also buy a key tag because the key tag will get you entered to win this C5 Corvette. Now, you guys may be asking yourselves, well, hey, I want that carbon fiber case, but I don't have a C7 Corvette. What else do they have? Well, they also sell a bunch of different cases for a bunch of different cars, one of them being my wife's X-T5. So right here is her remote, also very carbon fibered out. And again, perfectly cut out for that Cadillac logo in the back. You've got another very high quality example of a carbon fiber key case. Now, for those of you out there who have a C8 Corvette, yes, they have a case for you as well. I will link all of them in the description down below. But basically, I really want to bring this to your attention because I know a lot of you out there are like me and you're just absolutely carbon fiber crazy. And yeah, this is the next step. This is really the next way to just take it to that next level. But other than this, we also did the push button starter in here, which is also carbon fiber. And you can see it there. It looks absolutely phenomenal. And like I said, it is real carbon fiber. So sitting up against the real carbon fiber of the dashboard, it looks right at home. The ZR1 has a bunch of carbon fiber all over it. So it makes sense that you're gonna add a little bit of additional carbon fiber at some point. The carbon fiber push button start, the carbon fiber key fob cover, it is all great stuff. Like I said, all of it will be linked in the description down below. And if you grab one of these key tags, you'll be entered to win the C5. Corvette. So guys, if you haven't entered, definitely make sure you do. But that is going to do it for today's video. So if you liked all of the carbon fiber talk today, even if you don't have a Corvette, this could be yours. This It is literally one of the best fitting aftermarket pieces I've ever seen. It snaps together. The key does not move inside. It is a beautiful case for any car that they offer on their website. Again, link in the description below. If you guys liked what you saw here today, please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know you're liking the content so we can continue to make these videos for you and we can continue to make sure all of the other Corvette or car enthusiasts see these videos as well. If you guys have any questions about the carbon fiber that we did today or the ZR1 or Corvettes in general, go ahead and shoot them in the comment section down below and I will make sure you get an answer. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of Corvette information coming you are not going to want to miss. And as always guys, I will catch you in the next upload. How would you like to win this Corvette? It may be a lot easier than you may think. If you guys aren't familiar with my YouTube channel, it is called Horsepower Obsessed, and I just recently hit 50,000 subscribers, and because of that, I wanted to give back. All you have to do is go to my website, horsepowerobsessed.com, scroll down and click on the HPO merchandise section. Every $10 you spend is one entry to win this beautiful C5 Corvette. So right off the bat, we have the black diamond wheels, which gives the car an amazingly updated appearance. In the front end, we have the entire bumper and hood covered with Expel paint protection, thanks to our friends at Blackout Tinning. The rest of the car has been paint corrected and ceramic coated. So you are getting one of the best examples of what Chevy had to offer with Corvette with this specific car. If you wanna follow along with the mods on this particular car until the deadline of the giveaway, check out my YouTube channel, Horsepower Obsessed, and make sure you get entered before October 12th, 2021, so you can possibly take this car home with you.